All right, so now I want to show you what I do when I first log into WordPress. Now remember, to log into WordPress, you type in your domain name slash WP dash admin. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and type in complete beginner. I can, of course, just click here if I wanted to, but I'm just going to type it out for you guys. Shop.com slash WP dash admin. That's going to take us to the login screen for WordPress. Now we got to use our WordPress login again, which is Greg and this password, and that's going to get us back into WordPress. Again, that's how you log into WordPress every time you log in. Okay, and this is how you're going to manage your site. You're going to manage your site with WordPress. Any updates you do is going to be through WordPress because it's very easy to use. All right. Now, last time I went over just a few things of what it looked like and actually did click that link to click here to activate site um, so that's usually what I do when I first log in some people wait to click that link until their sites already I click it right away it's just what I do so other things that I do um, so let's go to our site again and we'll show you what our site looks like right now so it says hello world uh, you know recent posts archives recent comments categories all that type of stuff so what I usually do when I first log in is I go and I delete that that dummy post I call it, you know, the hello world post. So we just click on all posts right here and you'll see our only post right here is hello world. I just want to show you how this works really quick. Let me go into this post and we'll get deeper into this. But you see if I click on this post, it says hello world is the title. Welcome to WordPress. This is your first post. Edit or delete it, then start writing. Well, what shows up? Hello world, here's our title, and here's that text that I read. Welcome to WordPress, this is your first post, edit or delete it, then start writing. That's how posts show up. You know, you just you create a post and you publish it. And it's very easy to add images, add videos, center things, bold things. I'm gonna show you how to do all this stuff. We're gonna go through all this, okay? So let me go back to all posts. Let me get out of the actual post and go to all post. And I only have the one right now. What I wanna do is trash it, okay? So I just go and I click trash. And because we don't want that, it's just a generic, you know, every WordPress site has it. We don't want it there. It does nothing for us. And you'll see when I reload, it is not going to be there anymore. Okay, nothing found. So we have no content on our website right now. All right. So that's the first thing I usually do is I go to my old post. I delete the Hello World post. I also go to pages and I delete any pages that are in there. Okay, so they got a sample page here. I'm going to trash that. Uh, they got... Privacy policy, I'm gonna trash that. NWP forms preview, I don't even know what that is, I'm gonna trash it. We don't want any of this stuff, okay? So let's go and I trash all the current pages and post. The next thing I do is I go to settings and I go to permalinks and I make sure that I'm showing the post name for my permalinks, okay? The reason for that is it just makes things very simple for your URL structure, right? Like sometimes you'll like people use this. So if I create a post, it will come out like this, right? Like it'll just be a question mark, a P equals and a bunch of numbers. So basically, you know, if I go create a new post, it would come out in my URL. Let's say I did like, you know, a, a page on uh, the best dog bed. So it would come out looking like this, P equals blah, 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 blah. This is how my URL would look. Hard to remember. Uh, there's the SEO for this isn't good for this page because we'd rather have our keywords in there. So it just look really weird. And then of course some people will use stuff like this, where it shows like the date first and then the name of the post. I just always use this right here, and most people do. So just click on post name in permalinks. Make sure that's checked and save changes. And what that will do is it'll make our SEO much easier, okay? So if we create a page on the best dog beds, it will come out as the best dog beds, okay? So it identifies what our page is about much easier. Instead of being a bunch of numbers and like dates in there and all that, it just says the best dog beds. It looks the best. That's how most sites do it, okay? Uh, and that's how I always do it. And that is done through permalinks. You don't gotta worry about a ton of that right now. Just know that you gotta go to permalinks and click on post name. Okay, that because that will just show the name of your post is your URL, and then click save. All right, and again, that, that's all done already. So that's the next thing I do, and then the last thing I do, um, you know, kind of just every time I log into a site, is I click on setting under settings and go to general, 
and I make sure the name of my website is what I want it to be. Okay, so we did put this in when we were installing WordPress, but we still gotta change the tagline. That's that's the other part of our title. If I hover over my title here, uh, well, usually it shows. Let me go to a different browser, maybe it'll show. So let me go enter this in uh, Firefox. It should show when I hover over it. Yeah, so see how when I hover over it says complete beginner workshop dash just another WordPress site? We don't want just another WordPress site in there because we're not just another WordPress site, we're, we're a great site. And we want to optimize correctly for SEO. One thing you're going to hear me talk a lot about is Google is a computer that reads reads things. Okay, That's the number one way they figure out what your website is about is by reading words in important places. And as you'll find out, a title is very important because that's the title of your website or it's the title of a web page. Whatever the title is, is a big identifying factor for Google. And if you're using just another WordPress site, what they're reading is you know, that you have a WordPress site or your site's a WordPress site. Like, there's nothing there identifying what your site's about. The first part's good because it's the name of your website, Complete Beginner Workshop. But that second part, we want to identify more what this website is about because Google reads and they figure out what your website is by reading data. And we'll get more into this. Okay, don't worry about too much about that right now. So let's go back and I want to change that. So what's Complete Beginner Workshop about? Well, it's a so it's a let's do SEO training for extreme newbies or something like that okay so now Google knows that you know I got the name of my website they know my name is the complete beginner workshop and then also SEO training for extreme newbies so now they can identify easier what my site is about now to kind of go down the rabbit hole further we'll cover this later to further identify what my site is about we want to give them the correct things in our content in things called H tags, which are like big text on your page. And then with our linking, you know, we want all of our links to also identify that our website is about SEO training for extreme newbies. Okay. And that's how Google identifies what your site is about. If you just leave random stuff up here, like if I just said, you know, my site, and then here I put, um, you know, coolest site ever. Well, what does Google know about my site now? Nothing. Okay. They just, all they read is site and coolest site. Well, guess what? You're, you're not gonna rank for site or coolest site or anything like that. And even if you do, it's not gonna do anything for you because people who are searching for stuff like my site or coolest site, they're not gonna buy anything from you. They're not looking for what you have to offer, okay? So that's why you always wanna optimize your sites for what you're trying to get people to come for because then you can convert them, right? In order to do that, you gotta allow Google to read what your site is about. Again, name of my website, Complete Beginner Workshop, and then SEO training for extreme newbies. So that identifies what my site is about, and a title is very important for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that again. And now that that's saved, when I go back to my browser here, when I reload, instead of saying just another WordPress site, uh, up in, you know, when, it, when, when I hover over, when I reload, it will now say SEO for extreme beginners. Well, it didn't. It must not have updated yet. Let's go try it in Chrome. It could be have something called cached, uh, where it just reloads the same website and, uh, for a little bit. Let's go try it in Chrome because we didn't load it in there yet. And there you go. Complete Beginner Workshop dash SEO training for extreme newbies. So we know where my title has changed. Okay? And that's just where it shows up. I'm just showing you where it shows up. So those are the things I always do when I first log into the website. I go into post and I delete all the posts that are in there already. You know, the Hello World post is usually there. I go into pages and I delete anything that's in there. So I clear all that out. I go to settings permalinks and make sure that I have um, just my just post name selected. That way my URL structures will be a lot cleaner and easier and easier for Google to read and identify what my site's about. And you just save changes. And the last thing is settings under general. You want to make sure your site name is what you want it to be. And you really want to use this space to identify what your site's about. Okay, Because if not, you're wasting uh, precious SEO space, so to speak. So those are the things I always do when I first log in. Uh, from here, 
We're going to start going into some other things. You know, I'm going to talk about plugins and themes and all this stuff will help your site look better and you know, how do you make content and make things look better and all that type of stuff. So, But this is what I do when I first log in. That's usually the process I do every single time. All right. So I hope you all enjoyed this. See you in the next one.